This morning we've got uh, the the crews are broken up into five different segments, and uh, we have loading and loading equipment areas. And what that means, as far as like if there are forklifts and the half-ton boxes, and not getting in the way of the equipment and being cognizant of what's going on around trucks and trailers, as well as uh, the boxes of fruit and the forklift, because sometimes operators cannot see everybody. And uh, so they're having a little discussion that. And then the far group back over here is PPE or personal uh, protection of wearing long sleeve shirts and glasses if necessary, their gloves while they're picking the fruit and watching that they're not working too close together and uh, on the same vine and trying to see who's going to get that last cluster because sometimes that's where injuries can occur with uh, the sharp hook to knives. And then Zenith is over here talking about back safety and lifting of picking pans and uh, they're captive captivating the uh, audience quite a bit and giving them some brochures and some inf useful information regarding uh, back safety. And the fourth group uh, on my right is doing first aid and what all the elements of first aid are. If they see somebody not uh, doing too well, maybe flush in color, sweating profusely or things like that in the field, maybe working too hard that perhaps they're going to encourage them to take a break, get some more water and things like that. So again, they're just having a general conversation on how to identify those symptoms as well as treat for cuts, make sure that uh, we know about an injury that happens in the field and, and what may have to go from there. And then our furthest right group over here is talking about tractor safety and the issues around the equipment in the field in the loading area and things like that and a couple of our uh, tractor drivers are doing that operation over there with those people and again every 15 minutes these guys are all end up moving from uh, station to station if you will and getting a hands-on from their peers for the most part of uh, safe harvest and safe lifting and, and things that go on during the day. We try to choose a very close proximity to our first day of harvest mainly so that we can uh, keep things fresh in their minds about safety and you know every week on their envelopes they are getting a little safety notice uh, one way or the other might be regarding snakes while they're eating their lunch or working in the field or uh, even heating up their food to make sure they don't uh, put their little hot canisters too close to dry grass and make sure everything is good like that we make sure uh, they get a safety notice periodically about drinking sufficient water during the day as well as using the baños as often as they need to or frequently as they need to. So we're always keeping some sort of a small safety message prevalent each week attached to their envelope with a check but also we need to have a group thing where they can come and listen to other people for harvest safety techniques. I do employ a mixed group. I do have women employees as well out in the field and we have to spend a lot of time with our supervisors, uh, the, at least the me minimum of the two hours a year for sexual harassment. And that includes men can have sexual harassment problems with other men, but also because we do have the ladies. But the biggest criteria that we have to worry about is having us another bathroom available. It's primarily for them, especially in a mixed crew. And so we have we rent a bathroom that's got two units on it and one's clearly marked for ladies and one is clearly marked for men but other than that uh, they work just as hard as the men's crew do you know, no matter what the tasks are. Today we have invited speakers from the California Highway Patrol Division to talk about uh, the effects of DUI licensing, uh, risks that might be taken. We've had Zenith who is our uh, comp carrier. They're here doing the back safety. We have uh, Pan America representing insurance for in general and uh, some of the things that go on in the insurance world as far as workman's comp again. As well as we've had Jose come from the Napa County Ag Commissioner's Office to talk about general pesticide safety, uh, symptoms to look for if a person might be uh, exposed to a pesticide in the field and you know, reporting. Jose also uh, t today did a, something a little bit different. He passed around little uh, business-sized cards and they had pictures of uh, 
the European grapevine moth, they had pictures of identification pictures of the glassy wing sharpshooter, which is still in our forefront, but we have not seen any here in the, in the Napa Valley vineyards. But just kind of a recognition card that the people can have in their wallets with them or in their purse. And we also have them on our posters near the bathrooms out in the field. So if they do identify an insect that they haven't seen before, they could maybe take it over there, put it in a little bag or whatever, and sometimes we'll take them down to the county ag department to be further identified uh, if there is, in fact, a European grapevine moth or a, a vine mealy bug or a, a noxious pest. Every year there's a mix of employees. We have seasoned veteran employees, and we have employees that have been maybe for a couple of seasons and we always have a, a fair amount of new employees that come to the company through the growing season and we encourage them to stay for harvest so again there's a good mix of conversation of what we do in our company as far as the safety aspects and the working relations and reporting and and hopefully it works out very well a lot of the new people are very energetic and they enjoy working here with us in the Napa Valley. After we get done with our sessions here, the lunch is catered and uh, we'll have a Hispanic family come in and they actually cater a whole lunch for everybody as well as we've provided pastries this morning, coffee and chocolate, uh, some juices if they want that and are free to have all that. At the end of the whole entire day, I have um, hats shirts and t-shirts for them as well as a paycheck for uh, being here so it's not all work and no play it definitely is their time and activity though a lot of these guys will go and start playing soccer here about noon or so until lunch is actually ready and that's great you can burn up that pent-up energy they've got but uh, no it's again they're here to work with each other and be with each other so it's a one big happy family